Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 3 of this beginner yoga series. Let's start at the top of the mat in mountain pose. Roll the shoulders back, take a deep breath in through the nose and a deep sigh out through the mouth. Then as you now reach up with the arms lengthen, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, fold Uttanasana, bend the knees, keep the head heavy. Halfway lift, lengthen, open through the chest. Hands on the mat and step back to plank. Lower the knees down on the mat, bend your elbows, Chaturanga. Open the chest, Cobra. And as you exhale, tuck your toes and come back into Down Dog. And keep holding Down Dog, doing long deep breath in and out through the nose. Keeping the hands active, shifting the weight a little bit more on your legs and keeping the spine extended. Then shift the gaze towards the top of the mat, step forward, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold Uttanasana. And roll the spine, rising up, bring the arms over the head, gentle back bend. And as you exhale, release Tadasana, mountain pose. Again, inhale, arms up, look up, deeper in. Exhale, fold Uttanasana. Half a lift, lengthen. Hands on the mat, step back to plank, preparing for Chaturanga. Bend your elbows. Open the chest, cobra or up dog. And as you exhale, roll over your toes back to down dog. Deep breath in through the nose and a deep breath out. Step forward with the right foot, lowering the back heel down, warrior one, arms up. Keep the hips squared. Open into a warrior two, open the hips to the side, gaze follows the right hand. Keep the legs as they are, reverse warrior, bringing the right arm over the head, lengthening the side of the body. Keep bending for the front leg, deep breath in and a deep breath out. Right forearm on the right thigh, left arm over the head. Extend the side angle. Then shift the gaze towards the floor, lower the left hand down on the mat, pivot over the left foot and reach up with the right arm, twisting towards the right side. Keep the gaze up, deeper in and a deeper out. As you exhale, lower the left knee down on the mat, bend the left leg and hold onto the left ankle. If this is not accessible, keep reaching back with the right hand, holding onto the twist. Release the left foot and bring the arms over the head for a low lunge. Cross the fingers, point the index up, open through the chest as you gently push forward with the hips. Deeper in. And as you exhale, extend the right leg, hands down on the mat, half split. Keep the right leg extended, the foot flexed. Keep reaching forward, lengthening from the crown of the head. As you exhale, bend the right leg, tuck your left toe, lift the foot up, standing split. Holding onto the balance, starting to activate the right foot, keeping the head heavy. And as you exhale, release the left foot next to the right, lengthen. Exhale, fold Uttanasana. And roll the spine, rising up, bring the arms over the head, take a deep breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, release Tadasana, mountain pose. We're now going to work on two balancing poses, so shift the weight on the right leg and place the left foot inside the right inner thigh or at the height of the calf for a tree pose. Hands in a prayer position, keep holding here, keeping the gaze to a steady point, activating the glutes, engaging through the core. Then guide the left knee to the chest, lifting the knee as high as you can. And when you exhale, shoot the leg back for warrior three, keeping the gaze to a steady point. If you lose the balance, doesn't matter, just try again. And then as you exhale, take a step back for crescent lunge. Opening through the chest, take a moment here to reconnect with the breathing. Now we're going to cross the hands behind the back, open the chest, look up. And as you exhale, fold, guiding the right shoulder inside the right knee, lowering the back heel down on the mat and pushing over the head with the hands. Humble warrior. Release the left hand on the mat, pivot over with the left foot, twist towards the right side.
option to stay here, or if you want you can step back with the right foot coming to a side plank. Holding on to the balance, deep breath in and a deep breath out. Wherever you are, make your way back to plank, chaturanga. Open the chest, cobra or up dog. And as you exhale, roll of your toes down dog. Take a deep breath in through the nose and a deep set out through the mouth. Then step forward with the left foot, repeating on the other side, coming first into a warrior one, reaching up with the hands, keeping the hips squared. As you exhale, open into a warrior two, gaze follows the left hand. Keep bending for the front leg, deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Then rotate the left palm towards the ceiling, bring the arm over the head, reverse warrior. Rising back up, left forearm on the left thigh, right arm over the head. Lengthening the side of the body. And then shift the gaze towards the floor, lower the right hand down on the mat, pivot over the right foot and reach up with the left hand, twisting. Drop the right knee down on the mat, extend the left arm behind, either finding the right foot for a quad stretch. Otherwise, keep twisting, reaching back with that left hand, looking for lengthening. Then release, letting go of the left foot and rise up, guiding the arms over the head. Take a deep breath in through the nose, opening through the chest. Constant and steady breathing, creating space. And as you exhale, extend the left leg, lowering the hands down on the mat, and lengthening into a half split. Guiding the belly to the thighs, deep breath in and out through the nose. Then bend the left leg, tuck your right toe, frame the left foot with both hands and shift away forward, standing split. Keep the head heavy, keep lengthening here, deep breath in and a deep breath out, activating the left foot. As you exhale, release the right foot next to the left, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And roll the spine, resting up one vertebra after the other one. Bring the arms over the head. Open through the chest, long, deep breath in. And as you exhale, release Tadasana, mountain pose. This time, shift the weight on the left leg and guide the right foot inside the left inner thigh or at the height of the calf. Hands in a prayer position, hold it here. Keeping the core engaged, the glutes engaged. As you keep pushing with the right knee slightly out, then send the right leg back, coming to a warrior of three, holding onto the balance. And same thing as before, if you lose the balance, doesn't matter, just try again. Keeping the gaze to a steady point. Then step back, press the lunge, opening through the chest, deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Cross the hands behind the back, lower the back heel down on the mat, open through the chest. And as you exhale, fold, guiding the left shoulder inside the left knee, pushing with the hands over the head for Humble Warrior. And then release the right hand down on the mat, pivot over the right foot and twist, guiding the left arm up, gaze follows the left hand, lowering the hips a little bit more towards the mat. Option to stay here or step back into a side plank. Whatever you choose is completely fine. Just hold it here for one more deep breath. Then we're all going to transition into plank, preparing for Chaturanga. Bend your elbows. Open the chest, cobra or up dog. And as you exhale, roll of your toes down dog. Take a moment here in stillness. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And a deep set up through the mouth, releasing any tension in the back, in the shoulders. Then shift the gaze towards the top of the mat and step forward, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold Uttanasana. And roll the spine, resting up one vertebra after the other one. Bring the arms over the head and look up deeper in. And as you exhale, release Tadasana Mountain Pose. Take a moment here in stillness, rounding yourself again, slowing the heartbeat down, slowing the breathing down. And then as you're ready, we're going to work on dancer pose. You can sit at the top of the mat or come at the center. 
Shift the weight on the right leg, bend the left leg, holding onto the ankle. Extend the right arm up and start to shift the weight forward as you kick up and back with the left foot. Prioritizing the kicking of the foot and going forward as the more you go forward, the harder it is for your balance. Holding into the position here, keeping the gaze to a steady point, using the breath. And as you exhale, release, coming back into Tadasana Mountain Pose. Take a moment here before repeating on the other side. So this time shift the weight on the left leg, hold on to the right foot and come into your dancer pose. Kicking up and back with the foot, shifting the weight forward, deep breath in and a deep breath out. Last one, deep breath in through the nose and a deep breath out, release the dust and a mountain pose. Close the eyes for a moment, take a deep breath in and a deep sigh out through the mouth. Then open the eyes and widen the feet at the same width of the mat. And as you exhale, bend, come into Malasana Yogi Squat. If you need, you can lift the heels off the mat. Then keep the hands in a prayer position using the elbows to widen the knees as you keep lengthening from the crown of the head. Come to sit on the mat using the help of the hands and bring the feet together for Baddha Konasana Butterfly Pose. Roll the shoulders back, deep breath in, lengthen, and as you exhale, fold using the elbows to open the hips to guide the legs a little bit lower to the mat. Keeping the spine extended, keep lengthening here. Relaxing the shoulder, the back. One more deep breath here. And as you exhale, rise back up and extend the right leg, keeping the left leg bent, foot inside the right inner thigh. Then reach up with the arms, lengthen. And as you exhale, fold, finding the foot, maybe the ankle or the thigh. Taking a moment here to lengthen the back, keeping the spine extended, but the head heavy. Starting to relax your body, to relax your mind. How we slowly approach the end of the practice. And rise back up. And twist towards the left side, right hand on the left knee, gaze over the left shoulder. Keep lengthening from the crown of the head. And release, coming back to the center. And it's going to the other side. So this time, extending the left leg and bend the right leg. Activate both legs, reach up with the arms, lengthen, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, fold. Keeping the head heavy, deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Noticing the sensation of surrender. Holding into stillness. And start to rise back up. Twist towards the right side. Left hand on the right knee gaze over the right shoulder. Lengthening here. And then release, preparing to come into a comfortable seated position. Take a moment here. And as you hear now, reach up with the arms, take a deep breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, release, hands in a prayer position and close the eyes. And take a moment here to thank yourself for showing up, for trying something new, for being here. And show gratitude to your body for this movement and everything that it does for you every day. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed this class. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps with the algorithm. I'll see you soon on the mat.